This problem has the same exact directions. Find or solve the equation on the specified interval. This is what's different. That's the only thing that's different. Um, we could still do using inverse trig, but in this case, sine of x equaling negative one half, that's on the unit circle. So I'm going to figure that out real quick. I'm going to figure out one answer, and then we'll um, use the unit circle to figure out the other one. And then after that, we'll write, um, write it so that it, it's every answer within that interval. And uh, that's with like a plus or a minus k. So uh, let's see. If we had the unit circle like this, uh, sine is the y-coordinate. So I think sine is 1 half here, but I want negative 1 half. So it's actually down there. Um, which it turns out to be, I mean, you could start it with a negative pi over 6. This is negative pi over 6, I think. So you could start out with negative pi over 6, or you can actually start out with what? Uh, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pi over 6. Uh, both of those are exactly the same spot. So... I'm just going to do, I think it's easier to do negative 11, or sorry, negative pi over 6, um, just because it's going backwards and it's, you just count once instead of counting that whole way around. Um, so that's the first spot. What's the other spot? Well, I guess I'll say or 11 pi over 6. That's weird. 11, not pi. 11 pi over 6. So I'm going to just use this um, for my answer, but they'll, they'll be the same thing. So now I'm trying to find the other location where sine x equals negative 1 half. Remember, sine is the y-coordinate. So if you were thinking up here, that's wrong because that would be positive 1 half, right? This distance is what sine is. So if that was the same distance, it would be positive because it's going above the x-axis. Uh, so that means it has to be this. So I have to figure out what angle this is. Well, this is pi over 6 right? But, I mean, negative, but we're going to, the magnitude is pi over 6, so that means that this magnitude is pi over 6. But I know that this is pi right there, so this angle would be, uh, maybe I won't use the negative version. And you can, but I'm not going to use it. I'm going to use this, because this one follows along with it. I'll do pi plus pi over 6, which is, what is that, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6? So 7 pi over 6. So those are my two angles that I just circled, this one and this one. And I want all of them. I want all of them. So how the heck do I get all of them? Well, if I started here on this one and I added 2 pi, I would get back to the same answer. If I subtracted 2 pi, I would get back to the same answer. So this plus or minus uh, 2 pi k, maybe not plus or minus, well, yeah, plus or minus 2 pi k, where k equals 0, 1, 2, and so on. That takes care of it. So, like, you choose k to be 0, and then you get 7 pi over 6. You choose k to be 1, and that means you start here, and it goes all the way around. Um, if you're adding or if you're subtracting, you're going around in the other direction. That's all it is. So really, it's just plus 2 pi k. Uh, so that, that would be the same for this, right? Because if you add 2 pi, it goes all the way around. So plus 2 pi k. You could say, so I'm writing this one a little bit differently, um, where k is equal to plus or minus, well, 0 or plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 2 or plus or minus 3 and so forth. You could say that, and then that takes care of the plus or minus within the k value, or you can just say k is going to always be positive, just I could plus or minus anything. Hopefully that makes sense and it's not super confusing. That one we didn't have to use the inverse trig because this landed on our unit circle. That's, that's something on our unit circle. Okay, I'm done.